Interesting to see how the teams kick off. The rain that seems to have abated for the moment, but the pitch is going to be very slippery underneath, which puts a little bit of pressure on the referee for sliding challenges. Underway then in Algiers, it's Algeria against South Africa. Algeria playing in the white. They will defend the goal to the left hand side of your screen. The yellow and green or golden green of South Africa, Bafana Bafana, who in the first half will play from right to left. So full of running. Not a wide Nico Mobby, Sekakuni United player earning his 26th cap tonight. 29 year old, but South Africa look uh, full of running here early on. He's a decent cross in the area, gets an early cross, crossbar! And his second international. The basis of which South Africa has put their stall on. Yeah, very much so. Sundown's a massive part in this uh, South African side, but you've seen earlier there, Apollos, how unlucky. Struck the woodwork. Mobby growing in stature as far as I'm concerned in the domestic game as well as the international one and has another opportunity for South Africa who look very keen to get on the score sheet as quickly as possible. Mihaly Mayampela and based in Cyprus. And very on debut tonight, he's 32 years old, plays at the uh, domestic side CS Constantine. Not quite so what the fans were looking for from Punechpa, but the ball was played in with some pace from the left hand side. And the target, you could see Brahimi pulling the strings in the middle of the park there once again. And it's the shot, I think it was, going off target. We'll have a better look at that. And Polokwane uh, City in the Limpopo province. Nice little ball forward by Deboko Mokwena. They've got numbers forward here. And, uh, Shot is certainly on. Easy at the end of the day for Zegba, but the. Um, Tsubokha Mukwena pulling the strings there. Mayambela. In defense, Dickens. Oh, not far from being on target, Mukwena. And they're appealing for a for a corner straight away. And maybe they're justified in doing click in camp. Yeah, just couldn't get it to top. Let's see if the goalkeeper got a hand. I don't think so. Maybe this will give us a better idea. Up and over there, showing a lot of hunger to win it back there, and they do lose possession, they kept. Brahimi through the middle, great goalkeeping by Williams, brave under the legs of Amura. Now, looking to spring the counter-attack quickly, oh, Bafana Bafana, Amura has been a danger so far. Oh, and if that ball had sneaked through, the defence has invited, certainly beat something on for Reyners. Amazing how quickly the turnovers are arriving at the opposition penalty areas. Gets a shot and a goal! Benji has scores for Algeria! Counter-attack from the Fennec Foxes. Beats Ronald Williams to his left. The end. Algeria came. Brahimi once again at the heart of the attack. Under pressure. Wiggled his way. Found space there. Did Benzia. And uh, nothing Ronald Williams could have done there. Brilliant strength showed, kept his balance. A snapshot through the legs of Kikana and gives Algeria the lead. I think he did very well indeed to ride the challenge of the onrushing to Boko Makwena. Maybe it is because of that, but they are the side that are showing greater impetus at the moment. It's a good ball in the area, needs a turn as well. Oh, look at that skill outside of the boots. But uh, wide from Amura, who's just for the moment playing inverted momentarily switching positions with Brahimi and it was a snapshot there you can see what he wanted to do the outside of the boot almost uh, finding the top corner there all possession need to be Medwani and uh, maybe an opportunity on the overlap from Motiba is in space Motiba might have been greedy he doesn't really have three international and in possession is uh, the 32-year-old who plays in Spain with Villarreal. Now they've given possession away. Great chance for South Africa. Surely they have to make it count. And they do. Lovely build-up play. Unselfish stuff as well. And a goal for Timber Swan. He goes into double figures as far as his international strike rate is concerned. In his 44th appearance. With the... This time effective. That's the challenge on Brahimi. Timber Swan. Fake pass there. Brilliant stuff. And the return pass. Ikram Rain has been excellent with his hold-up play all day. 
Brilliant pass. Mayambela finding Zwani. He needs one two. And he gets the equalizer. And that is the tackle that they'll be not too happy about. Great awareness, great composure. And it's Zwani that starts. It's a game of football. He's a famed international. He's allowing the entertainment to continue. I think there are limits to those sometimes. As it'll cut inside. Great chance! <laughs> South Africa take the lead before half time. Zwani scores and he does it again. South Africa come behind. The excellent. Deservedly so. Brilliant dink into space. Zwani looked up once. No assistance. Cut it back with the left foot. What an excellent finish there from Temba Zwani. Nothing that Zegba could have done about that and nothing Algeria can do to stop the South African side. Now that's proper. On the run, dinks it into the top left hand, top right hand corner. And then John Shoes, the Mishweo, may so rest in peace. Heading South Africa the win. Ball given away by Williams. Is he going to pay the price? He does. Great goal for Brahimi. South African goalkeeping has let them down in consecutive matches. So it's Williams here. Just couldn't make amends there, tried to get it, but uh, composure showed from Brahimi, slotting it pass into the net. Three defenders tried to cover up for Rodman Williams' mistake, but unfortunately... Opportunity and a goal! Oh, oh, oh big deflection! But it all counts at the end of the day. He's only played two international matches. He's got two international goals. But Kwan has only just come. Introduction to international football. Yeah, brilliant uh, pass through there from Moby. Taking on the player from left to right. Back inside. Bit of a deflection there. Brilliant stuff. Brings it inside. As the Elias Mukwena. And uh, I think it's off a Bafana Bafana player. Certainly came off a teammate. There's no, there's no way that his teammates going to claim that, surely. Is that uh, Renner's in the way? A brilliant chop inside. Brilliant work there from once again from uh, Mokwana. Just uh, dazzling Mandani. Nice little cut inside here from the Algerians. Uh, once again, they draw a level that looks like it's a uh, here. He's pulled a hamstring in the course of getting Algeria level again. And once again, the fans find their voice. Six goals in this one. We would have felt that uh, they were hard done by, but the harsh call with the third goal. Excellent stuff there. Great improvisation. Took one touch to flick it up. And with the other foot, almost a 360 turn. I'll tell you what, that is a contender for possibly the goal of the series brilliant stuff there from one the return pass again given away in South Africa just being a little too far away from each other maybe but they certainly are playing quite loosely and I'll find Nuri has been brilliant very nearly on them yeah, another opportunity there not the best of passes there Mahaman evading the pressure and danger for South Africa two this evening conceding three not short of goal scoring. Well, they had an opportunity to go back in front here. Williams will make the intervention. But that goal written all over it, that counter attack from the substitute. It was opened up his body and kind of showed which angle he's going to take. And a well read there from uh, Ronan Williams. But closer. Kentucci in the meantime. Look at the players forward here in the, the white of Algeria. A little bit of punching on the left hand side. It's a delightful ball through the middle. And another opportunity that surely should have had Algeria in front. A missed opportunity there.